Today, our session is dedicated to different engineering projects and classification of engineering companies. Generally, companies are classified into three groups, EPCM, operating and service companies. Let's start with EPCM. EPCM stands for engineering, procurement, construction and management. They get requests from operating companies and delivers projects to them. For example, KBR, Wood Group, Worley, Foster Wheeler, Technip, and so on. The EPCM contractor is not directly involved in the building and construction of the project, but is rather responsible for the detailed design and overall management of the project on behalf of the owner or principal. In fact, the EPCM contractor is directly responsible for the management and administration of all design and construction works, for the allocation of responsibilities among all participants in the construction process. Operating companies carry out operating wise work, like troubleshooting requests in the field, for example, Total, BP, Equinor, and so on. EPCM company updates or generates documents, performs design and installation, and does not have a plant. However, the operating company drives offshore platforms or onshore terminals. And lastly, let's talk about service companies. This kind of companies provide technical services to operating companies, but do not own the hydrocarbons that are produced. For example, Baker Hughes, Schlumberger and Halliburton. However, operating companies decide where and how to drill for hydrocarbons and own the rights once produced. Chemical engineers generally work in EPCM and operating companies. However, field engineers, compilation engineers and well engineers work in service companies. Operating companies are the clients of EPCM companies, and we'll talk about the projects delivered by them later. Chemical engineering projects can be divided into four types, depending on the novelty involved. Firstly, Greenfield projects. Greenfield is a design in a plant or terminal from scratch. ACE, Apsheron, Karabakh, Umid and Baba can be shown as an example for existing greenfield projects in Azerbaijan. Greenfield is a common word to describe a new project. The greenfield project means that a work which is not following a prior work. For the last 10 years, the greenfield projects have faced an increasing pressure of requirements to minimize environmental footprint impact local acceptance, and to improve safety and operational excellence. On the contrary, brownfield refers to the project of expansion or revamping or services on an existing facility. The projects which are modified or upgraded are called brownfield projects. Modifications are considered based on the risk assessment of the operating companies. It's cheaper and smaller scope than greenfield projects. In this type of project, new static and dynamic equipment can be added to the existing system, such as pumps, compressors, heat exchangers, valves like PSV, isolation, control valves, and etc. However, in greenfield one, you built a new plant. The bottlenecking. This term means to scale up the production. It's the process of identifying specific areas or equipment in oil and gas facilities that limit the flow of product and optimizing them so that overall capacity in the plant can be increased. In today's challenging economic conditions, the debottlenecking of existing oil and gas plants appears very attractive. Most plants have some interesting opportunities to boost their production capacities and efficiencies through troubleshooting and the bottlenecking. These efforts can be carried out quickly and safely at a fraction of the cost required to build new facilities of equivalent capacity. The first step in a bottlenecking process generally involves examining the overall operating conditions of a facility. In many instances, this means comparing current operating parameters 
in system settings like flow rates, pipe diameters, pressure, etc. is the design specifications of process equipment. The most common causes of bottlenecks in refining plants include control valves, shock valves, compressor capacity, pipe velocity, heat exchangers, and rotating equipment. Now, let's move on to uh, development of new processes from laboratory research or through pilot plants to a commercial process. Oil and gas is a high-technology industry where companies, scientists, and engineers continually challenge the barriers of what's possible to find and produce energy. New techniques and technologies discovered through research and development, or R&D, have been vital in enabling the industry to meet global energy demand and will continue to be vital as industry overcomes current and future challenges. Pilot plant. As the name suggests, it's a first sight of how the real plant will look like. A pilot plant is a smaller version of plant which is operated to find out the behavior of process before using it on a large-scale industrial production. It acts as a system for hazard identification before full-scale production takes place. A pilot plant allows you to collect actual data that can ensure smooth function of your full-scale production plant. It allows you to experiment with inputs, outputs, processing time, and etc. to streamline your process. In some cases, a pilot plant may be of an optimal size that can produce specialty products in low quantities. You can stop at the pilot plant scale, produce plenty of product, and forego a larger financial undertaking until the market demand increases.